series and today we will be discussing an important topic of the business administration CSS student 2020 exam and this is the last question which was one of the easiest and perhaps one of the students asked me that how to solve the last question and and well unfortunately some of the students were even failed to answer this question so look at this question it says that initial cash flow is 150,000 one year cash flows right so initial is like you have made an investment so it's a negative so I have written it down over here First of all, we have to calculate the payback period. It is one of the easiest NPV. Yes, but this is the main differential part which most students might have missed. And this is what I have told in the class. And when I was teaching this capital budgeting topic, they were saying, oh, OK, no, sir, we don't want to study the profitability index. But I was telling them, OK, you can just write it down because it is one of the majors. And now this has been tested. And this is this might be the reason why some of those students might end up with lower marks. So now, first of all, what is the payback period? Payback period is simply like you have to cover 150,000, right? So minus 150,000 in year zero. So this is zero in one year. You got like 50,000 plus. So this is like you have left with minus one lakh. Then in second year, you are getting plus 56,000. So you are left with what minus 44,000. And in the third year, since you are getting more than that, you are getting uh, 64,000. So you're getting an amount of plus 20,000. So you have to make it like break even, right? So it is like less than three years. So what you will be doing 44,000, the differential amount divided by 64,000. You're left with what it is like minus 6875. 0. 0.6875 of a of year three, right? So it will be my minus 0.6875 multiplied by 12 uh, multiplied by 12 months, right? These are the number of months in a year, right? So this is equivalent to 8.25 months. So the payback period is equivalent to what two years, two complete years. And 8.25 months. You can also divide these 0.25 months into 30, taking an approximate. So 1 over 4 multiply by this 15, 15 over 2, so 7.5 days. So it will be 2 years complete 8 months 7.5 days I have already calculated the discounted figures right what you will be doing for NPV you would be dividing it by the discounted factor you have discounted factor and I have written it down with in front of each of the figures right so this is what this 0.885 it's basically 1 divided by 1.13 this is 1 divided by 1.13 square 1 divided by 1.13 cube and so on okay so after multiplying it with the factors i have also calculated the cash flows these are the cash flows so npv is what npv is the net present value it is what minus 150000 and adding all the figures So we are left with 63,213 that is positive. So a positive net present value suggests what? A positive net present value suggests that, that this figure that we should invest in this project. This is the main part. Now we will be calculating profitability index in the next video. I hope you guys are understanding this.